Hey guys, Channel Cat Chaser coming at you. Just got done watching Pop's Quest video and he put that Vortex red dot on top of his trick Glock. And, uh, man, I don't know if that's the right way to go about doing it. I, I, it's really not the same. I can tell you right now, I'm not a fan of it for the simple fact that every time I draw my pistol... I always see the front sight first. I never, I never hold the pistol down, down far enough to see the dot, because all I'm focused on is the front sight. And I probably, he could probably overcome that because he does a, quite a bit more shooting than I do. He lots of pistol tournaments and stuff like that. But I just can't get the handle. I can't get a handle on this, this setup. For number one, there's nothing to co-witness. The sights, it'd be different if you co-witness the sights, but it makes it extremely hard to use this setup because it does not co-witness the sights. And when you draw the gun, basically the first thing you're looking for is your front sight. And every time I draw the gun, I see my front sight and not the dot. So that's the problem I got with it. It's nice. I mean, this is a Trigicon uh, RMR. I don't know what which one it is, but it is the solar solar powered one with the fiber optics in it, and it is extremely bright, and it's it's a very very nice sight. But I'm just not fond of the setup. But anyway, I did get my P80 done. Here's my P80. It's uh, turned out really nice. It's about like, I don't know, 30% of the other ones out there on the market that Kaiser building is almost the same as everybody else's. I got the Mariglow suppressor height sights on it, which those things are really nice. I think the first time I seen these were, I think 1776 or Bust had them. And I really liked them. That yellow is extremely bright. And uh, I like it. I really do. But I am thinking about maybe buying another red dot for this pistol. I thought about the Hollow Sun 507C. I don't know yet. It's a that's a nice dot. It looks pretty cool. But like I said, I really don't care for the this one, this setup anyway. So I thought about maybe just taking that RMR off and putting it on here. Because it will co-witness the sights. And that's a, in my mind, would be a huge game changer as far as being able to use and utilize the red dot versus just trying to use the red dot. Because I'm telling you, it's tricky as hell. If you can see a front sight, it is hard not to look at that front sight. And then you, you don't see your red dot. I don't know if you can see that. I don't remember what dot is this. This is. Yeah, you can kind of see it in there. Right there. But it's hard to it's hard to find that. Because for some damn reason, like I said, I'm focused on that front sight. So, Pops, I hope you have a lot better luck with your setup than I do mine. But I, I'm not a fan of it. I'm just... I'm kind of excited about getting to try it again on this pistol since it's cut out. You know, it's always all cut there. Cut out for the RMR. And then it will co-witness the sights. So that's going to be a huge plus. But anyway, guys, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I don't know. Do you think that Hollow Sun 507C is worth it? Or should I just maybe just take the RMR off of this pistol? Throw some night sights back on this one or something. I don't know. But this thing here shoots good, but the triggers in a X, this XDM is a spongy, over travelly. Oh, it's just the worst trigger ever. But yeah, this is an old, older pistol though. Back when it won the, uh, everybody's favorite NRA uh, focus. 
Hang on, hang on, show you. But this was the NRA gun of the year when I picked this up. It was a pretty awesome pistol back when they first came out. Pretty nice. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep on subscribing. Tell me what you think in the comments. I'm out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it.